Now that we are done explaining the zone of partial preservation, let's take a few examples. Starting with this one here, and let's fill the bottom row. Okay, so first sensory level on the right. It's going to be T1. So here I write T1. Sensory level on the left is going to be C8. Okay, so here it's going C8. I'll just write next to it so that it's readable. Okay, the motor level on the right is C6. Okay, I can type here. I'll just write it next to it. Okay, C6. And on the left, it's C7. C7. And accordingly, the neurological level would be the highest of those, so it's C6. Let's check our answer. So yeah, it's T1, C8, C6, C7, and the neurological level is C6. Okay, is the injury complete or incomplete? We look at the last row and we see it's noon. So it is complete injury. And accordingly, it's the, immediately we specify that it is Asia A. Now, do we need to specify the zone of partial preservation? We check. Here, it's noon. So yes, we need to specify the zone of partial preservation. And if we look at the sensory level, basically, what is the most caudal segment that has any kind of sensory function? It is actually T2. So here we write T2. And on the left side, we check what is the most caudal with any kind of function. So here, it, there is some um, light touch on the left side at the level of T5. So it is T5. Now, for the motor uh, zone of partial preservation, we check the most caudal segment with any type of motor function. So, on the right, it's L4, and on the left, it's L5. So, L4 and L5. Let's check our answers. T2, T5, L4, L5. Okay, so... By this, we complete, we've completed filling the um, Asia sheet. Let's take another example. Okay, so here, um, let's do the levels quickly. Okay, so the sensory level is um, T1 on the right, T1, and on the left, it's T T3. Okay. T3. Sorry, I'm not able to write within the boxes, but um, you should be able to do that. Okay, now for the motor level on the right, it is C6. So C6. And on the left, it is C7. Okay, what's the neurological level of injury? The neurological level of injury is the highest of those, so it is C6. Okay, let's check our answers. So T1, T3, C6, C7, and C6. Okay, now, is the injury complete or incomplete? We check here. We don't have noon because we have a yes here. Accordingly, it is incomplete. So an I here for incomplete. Now we need to decide, is it Asia A, B, C? Uh, sorry, it's definitely not A. Is it Asia B, C, D, or E? Okay, so... Um, what we have here is a sensory function, but not motor, okay? So it might be Asia B. We need to specify uh, or check the motor level. So the motor level on the right is C6. It's here, okay? And we have motor function more than three segments below the, neuro the motor level on the right. Let's check the left just for just in case, but we already have it on the right, okay? So here it's C7. C7 is the motor level on the left. And yes, also here we have motor function more than three segments below the neurological level. So then here it is Asia C, okay?
And uh, do we need to specify the zone of partial preservation? We check. Okay. Voluntary anal contraction, it's a no. So yes, we need to specify the motor zone of partial preservation. So on the right, it's um, cell L5. Okay. L5 here. Motor L5 on the right. And on the left, it's L4. It's the most caudal segment with any type of motor function. What about the sensory zone of partial preservation? Since we have deep anal pressure, then, then the sensory zone is NA on the right and on the left. Okay, let's check our answers on the next slide. So yes, it's incomplete Asia C, and we did not specify the sensory uh, zone of partial preservation, but we did the motor, it's L3, L4. L3, L4, I got this wrong, okay. I got this wrong actually on my answer sheet, but not here, it is L5. So I need to fix it on the answer that I provided, it's L5. For some reason, I missed those last two, okay. So this is wrong here, it's L5. Okay, so um, with that, I hope it is now clear um, when uh, we have Asia A and when, um, uh, like, you know, uh, filling the form when we have it as uh, Asia A and uh, when we need to specify the zone of partial preservation.